Welcome back to another edition of Short Threat right here at the Ramp Chair. Smoking me a poor excuse for lucky strike. Sorting the world's problems out after breakfast. Getting ready to feed mama because even if I don't feel like doing the shit, ain't nobody gonna do it for me and I have to do it myself. Alright, that's why I'm the man of the house. Okay? In my misadventures and follies uh, in life, you know, making the room spin around and not quite remembering yesterday or even last week for that matter, which was my goal. I do remember having a conversation with my friend Metal. Uh, if you don't know who Metal for breakfast is, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. You've you just missed out on your life. And, you know, it's one of the coolest and most fun live streams ever on the internet. Uh, he, he rarely uploads videos, but i tell you one thing. When he goes live, there's music and there's fun and friendship and everything else. But uh, he, he passed a kind of a news story on to the Broken News Network here. And uh, we're going to talk about it. So, what is the Michigan Militia? Well, I actually have met uh, the, the original head of the Michigan Militia as a kid, and it's not like how you think, man. <laughs> um, the Michigan Militia is a response to Waco and Ruby Ridge. First Ruby Ridge, then Waco. Okay. Now, you might know these events from history as the defining moment where America said, okay, we either fully trust the government or they went the way I did, which is, fuck you, government, meet my shorts. That's basically what happened with the Michigan militia. Uh, a man named Commander Norm Olson. Uh, I think he's still alive, actually, although he lives in Alaska now, and, I, and I'll get to that here in a minute. <sighs> Gotta get this damn cigarette burning. <sighs> it's one of them fucking mornings. Mom's shower day, too, so I got, I got too many problems. A shout at the Sex Pistols. Problems! Yeah. Yeah. We're getting through it. So, back in 19 Go Fuck Yourself, uh, when my old man, you know, uh, he was still coherent and things were going on. Him and I used to go to the gun show, man, and we had a great fucking time. That was our Saturday mornings, man. Sometimes we'd go to the gun show two days in a row, right? So it was Saturday and Sunday only, and we'd pay the five bucks to get in the fucking door. Whether we bought a gun or not, we had a fucking blast, man. We got out of the house. We got to play with cool things. We would usually get a burger with some bacon and cheese because if you don't, you're not a fucking American. And you piss off. I don't even want to tell you to eat my shorts. You know, shameful activity if you don't enjoy bacon and cheese on a burger. You know? You know, we'd smoke some Lucky Strikes, or rather he did. I was too young back then. I like seven. And we'd meet some cool people, man. Uh, I actually originally met Richard Butler and William Pierce. Uh, you might know them from the Church of Jesus Christ Christian, otherwise known as Aryan Nation. And it's not like I'm some weirdo fucking anti-government racist, although I kind of am. Uh, this was when I was a kid, man. Uh, they were our next door neighbors in Lake Hayden, Idaho. You know, we all knew each other. Okay, uh, I actually met Randy Weaver, right? This is after Ruby Ridge, because I was just a little, little kid when that happened. And he actually sued the government and won, because they basically murdered his family, yo. Um, I never did meet Timothy McVeigh. Uh, that was a little bit before my time. Uh, he only, I guess, frequented the, the place a couple of times. But one of the people I met... It was actually at a gun show. This this guy, Norm Olson, had nothing to do with the white supremacy movement back in the day. <laughs> but they labeled him as such. Uh, it was actually at a... Sorry, folks. Rant has interrupted us. Neighbors walking through. So anyway, where we last left off, I'm probably seven or eight years old. And this is in North Idaho, actually, at the time. Uh... There was such a thing as the Montana Militia, too, and they used to, like, throw these gun shows and Soldier of Fortune-type shoots and stuff. It was a lot of fun. You know, it was a different time and a place, man. And we were at a gun show, and, of course, me and my dad were like, ooh, what's that? I want this. Ooh, let's get this. And Mom's like, no, you don't have any money. Well, we had money, but Mom wouldn't let us spend it because she's an anti-gun butthole. But we did it anyway. We just didn't tell Mom. Hmm. But I digress. Um, I actually met Commander Norm Olson when I was a little, little kid, maybe seven or eight years old, 
uh, he was signing autographs and like talking to people and stuff. By this time, he was a celebrity because the media had railroaded him for the Oklahoma City bombing, basically citing, well, Timmy McVeigh hung out in the circle, which is fucking retarded because Timmy McVeigh, like, he hung around everywhere. He was a fucking speed freak, dude. And, you know, the media made this guy out to be the devil, man. He was on CNN and, you know, congressional hearings and everything else. And he basically said, listen, the government sucks. We don't like it. And this is why we made a militia is to make them held accountable. Because if they ever come to fuck with us and take our rights away, we're going to kick their ass up and down the block or die trying. Right? Because that's what Americans do. <sighs> but I actually met this guy. And shortly after this time period, uh, the media railroaded him to the point he actually left Michigan for Alaska. <laughs> and this dude's a libertarian, but he started the Michigan militia, and eventually, after the 90s, it broke up into a bunch of several different factions. Uh, you might know them famously from the bullshit plot to kidnap Gretchen Whitmer, which is an inside job, and if you don't like it, fucking tough shit. What the hell were they going to do to that ugly-ass Karen? Make her a mommy from the doggy-style position? She'd probably enjoy it. And you'd probably have to wash your pecker off with some bleach when you're done. <sighs> but there are several factions of militias, right? Just like there's different kinds of neo-Nazis, right? Some are skinheads, some are sharp skinheads, some are racist neo-Nazis, some are not racist neo-Nazis, like there's all kinds of different factions. Some of them are just plain anarchists, right? Some of them are just into the ska punk. It's the same thing with the militia, right? Some of them are anarchists, some of them are capitalists, some of them are ANCAPs like I am, you know, I, I believe the government can basically fuck off and I can do what I want and I want to spend money while I'm doing it. And I want to make money too, right? It's okay. But Basically, there's always a few bad actors in the whole thing. Like, there's a couple of fuckfaces that do fuckface-like activities, and, you know, they become famous, and they do shitty things. And then people like Commander Norm get thrown under the goddamn bus, right? It's all six wheels in the back. Boom, 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 right? Under the bus. But if you listen to the guy talk, you know... Uh, you're going to find common ground with the guy, regardless of what side of the fence you're on. Like, even my mother, like, as anti-gun and as pro-government as she is, like, she thinks Biden's a tool, right? Thinks that basically the government is run by a bunch of limp-dick old men who uh, are a bunch of, you know, playground diaper snipers, man, you know? But you're going to see more of these militia groups pop up in the news. You know, every state basically has a militia. It's actually not only our right, it's kind of our duty to at least be armed resistance, if not actually part of a militia. I'm sure Blaine will get down in the comment section and uh, tell you on that one, because, you know, he's all about doing the things, too, like like we all should be. But you're going to hear these news stories pop up. Well, this guy did this. This guy was part of the militia, blah, 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 blah. They demonize everybody and everything they don't understand. It's just the way it is. And as always, if you don't like it, keep my shorts